When you are trying to craft the perfect marketing message for your business, you may get hung up in the details. You may fret over the individual wording and whether or not something's phrased right, or whether or not to use the right colors, or whether or not your page layout is right, or whether or not you're giving off the right impression, the right attitude, the right this, the right that. And there are a hundred details in your marketing which you can fret over, and if you're not careful, you'll become obsessed with those details and you won't launch. You'll get all hung up in whether or not you're crafting the right thing, you'll overanalyze, and you'll never get anything out the door. That's a common problem, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's Three and Five with Patrick Almond. Hi, my friends, my name is Patrick Allman, and welcome to your weekly three in five video, where we cover three marketing tips in five minutes. I run a digital marketing agency at allaboutfocus.com, and this week we're gonna be talking about the, the need for testing and trying different things in your marketing. This is a very common thing, and one of the misconceptions, one of the common mistakes and misconceptions when it comes to marketing is the fact that a, a marketing company crafts a perfect message, comes up with the perfect symbolism and the perfect tagline, and the perfect branding and color scheme and that's when they launch you know a marketing campaign for a company and this week we're going to dispel that this week I want you to learn not to worry over this so I'm going to talk to you about three reasons why you should be testing your marketing and why you should be launching your marketing and launching testing changing launching testing changing things like that okay are you ready you take a notes here we go the first one is is the more you test your marketing the more you're going to increase increase your lead rate and your close rate a common thing in marketing is called a b testing or multivariant testing and the, the one you usually hear is about is a b split testing we're going to test one version of this and another version of this and you're going to see which one helps you get down the marketing path further and easier the benefits of testing and the benefits of getting something out there early and often is it's going to increase your close rate. The more experiments you run, the more testing you do, you're gonna notice that little tiny things you do slowly keep people on your website longer, they watch more of your content, they read more of your emails, they watch more of your videos. And what you're gonna notice is that the percentage of people that wanna progress through your funnel are going to increase the more you test and the more you deploy and the less you worry about being perfect. So that's the first one. The second one, which really helps me in my marketing, is the more I test and experiment, the more I learn how to simplify my message. Marketing people oftentimes get consumed with, again, crafting the right message and getting it out the right way, and I'm going to say 100 things in their opening statements. And what you realize in marketing after a while is that the fewer words and the simpler ways you, you say things, it's better for you. And that's what marketing has helped me. It's helped me reduce the number of words in my sentences. It's helped me make things more concise. It's helped me when I'm working with my clients, when I'm working on taglines or business titles or product names. It's helped us basically shorten that and make things more precise and to the point. And if you have to explain something in a really complicated way to a consumer, you are going to lose them and they're going to move on, shop for somebody else, look for a different product and a different solution. Make your messages shorter and simple to the point. So one of the things you're gonna be doing in your experimentation is trying longer messages and shorter messages and seeing which one people um, respond to better. And I guarantee you, it's going to, um, you're gonna see the people are gonna to respond to the shorter, simpler messages. The messages address their pain and their desires more than the tactics messages. And if you wanna know about tactics versus solutions, please look up a different uh, YouTube video about that. That's one of our other previous week's videos about three and five. But testing is going to help you simplify your message. And the third thing I wanna to talk to you about is one that's really crucial is testing is going to help give you a customer perspective on your business and on your message. Oftentimes, because you're someone who's too close to a service or too close to a product or too close to your business, what you end up with is you end up seeing things from your point of view only. And you're the person that provides the product and you're the person that provides the service and you know the benefits and sometimes you kind of lose that customer perspective. And you don't have a thousand customers to bring in and do you know some kind of field testing inside your business. So multivariant testing or A-B testing inside of your marketing helps you do that. It helps you see things from the customer's point of view. What do they like? What do they dislike? Uh, it may not always be what you like and you dislike. You may like a certain color 
first game a certain way, or you may like a certain message to be worded a certain way, but it turns out your customers don't like that. They like it a different way. So one of the benefits of A-B testing or multivariate testing is the fact that you kind of get some of that outside feedback. You can only get so much of it, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, but testing will allow you to see what your customers really cling to when it comes to your message, what they really respond to. So again, let's recap those three things and why I want you to start doing more testing in your marketing and not really worrying about making it perfect. The first one is you're gonna increase your close rate, okay? You're gonna get more people moving along further in your funnel the more testing you do. The second one is it's going to help, help you simplify your message. Um, I used to, when I was doing this video series initially, I wanted to call it something a lot longer, but I shortened it, made it very easy. Three and five, three marketing tips in five minutes. Short, sweet, and to the point. And I've noticed people have been responding to that more, and it works well, and it gets to the point faster. So that's the second one, helps you simplify your message. And the third and final one is it gives you some customer perspective on your message, on your products, and on your services, so you can kind of get out of your box out of your own way and see how your customers are looking at things. Hey, if this was useful, do me a favor, leave a comment or below, uh, share this on social media. Feel free to email me always at patrick at allaboutfocus.com. Also, if this was useful, please subscribe over on YouTube and go watch the other three and five videos. I'm up to about 20 some odd right now. I think we're in the 22, 23 range. And they're also all over on the blog at allaboutfocus.com. I also always welcome your questions. Please leave me a comment. If you have a marketing question, be it an offline marketing question, an online marketing question, we primarily live in the digital space, so that's my expertise. But if I don't have an answer to another one, I will find someone who does have the answer because I know I don't have all the answers. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll talk to you again soon.